<sighs> Happy spring. And I'm sure everybody's staying healthy. So, you know, <clears throat> I've watched the latest episode of Umemesune Ume Season 2. And, you know, yeah, Season 2, Episode 12. And, you know, I don't even know where to begin when I say, You guys hit my heart, Umemesune fans. <laughs> oh my god, this show hits me. This show hits me so freaking low, guys. Like, literally hit me. Like, oh, that hits me. This last episode hit me to an all-time low. Now, before I do my review of Umesune, I got to say this. To all you Umesune Ume haters out there. By the haters, I mean who don't watch this show. You got to watch this. You got to watch season two. Or season one. I don't care. You got to watch this. Because this show will hit you like nothing. And what I'm going to say. What I'm going to say. Will trigger everything. What I'm going to say. That will trigger everybody. In the landscape of sports anime. I'm going to say is this. This show. This. This is one of the few shows that I say, this Umesune, this horse racing anime, this is one of those sports anime shows that is better than Haikyuu. That's it. That's it. I'm going to say it again. Umesune, Pretty Derby, despite having it two seasons and having an app game, this is better than High Freaking Q. And now I know High Q is. To the top. Oh, I get it. We're going to get another season of High Q. Okay. High Q this. High Q that. It's driving me crazy. Like I said in my reviews, I said about High Q, on my thoughts about High Q, and I said on my live stream, I have nothing against High Q. I just feel like High Q is so talked about in, in the world of sports animes, yet we're not talking about the new sports animes that are coming out in later on. I hear no Sora. Umemesune, Rock Climbing Girls. Even, we got soccer. We got two soccer animes coming out in the spring. And I bet you no one ain't going to talk about that. I bet you no one going to talk about that sports anime. Or even Welcome to the Ballroom, for God's sake. In fact, in fact, there is a sports anime on pole dancing. And it's from the people that made Harukana Receive. And pole dancing is a freaking sport. If you don't believe it, just look it up. Yeah, it's a, yeah, it's a series. I forgot the name of the title, but it's from the people that made Haru Connor receive. And Haru Connor receive was a sports anime. Hello? You see where I'm getting at? So, all Ube Mitsude fans, hear me out when I say this. Not only this is better than IQ for me, but this episode, episode 12, hit me. It hit me on so many different levels that I. <laughs> That I was legit not in my head the entire time. <sighs> Sorry I'm going on the deep end, but it had to be said. So without further ado, you know, let's talk about episode 12 review. Let's, let's do it. Umis today season two of episode 12 review. Let's get it. So, Tokai, well, let's, let's talk about Tokai for a bit. Tokai's relationship with McQueen has been a rivalry, a friendship, a frenemy type thing. They're, they're, it's just two, looking at this duo is looking at the rivalry that we all see in sports animes. But these two are so clean with it. So they're all training in the beach, you know, they're training to be good, you know, they're training at the beach together. And it was fun. It was nice. And then we get to see one race where this girl with the glasses, this horse girl with the glasses, she raced her ass off. She beat Winning Ticket because Winning Ticket beat her. So you got this girl named Benoit. I forgot her name, but I think it's Benoit. She out. She beat them entirely. And not only that, she beat Rice Shower's record. And I like Rice. Rice right now, if I'm looking at season two, Rice Shower is my top five. She's like, no, top, th top three favorite horse girl in, uh, in Ume Sude season two right now. Like, she's on the top three. I might bump her up to second or first, depending on how I feel about later on. But still, 
She beat Wright Shower's record. Hello? She beat the record. Now, here's the thing. We see Tote Guy training her ass off. But then McQueen. When McQueen stopped running, I'm like, no. No. Don't do this. Don't do this. Please don't do this. Please don't do this. <laughs> don't do this. Please don't do this to McQueen. It's bad enough for Tokai to have all these injuries. It gets back up. I get that. But for McQueen, no, 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 no. Please, please, please don't do this. Please. That's why I'm getting so emotional, right? That's why I'm loud and emotional in this because this episode hit me. It hit me. I, it's, it's, it hit me so bad that I felt like, wow. I need a, a bottle of wine in the living room just to get, just to, just to drink my sadness out of the way for this, for the queen. But let me get to that. So, so throughout the episodes, we've seen Tokai struggle so many different levels and so many different times. Not being undefeated, that's, that didn't work. Being undefeated, that didn't work. Being a triple crown, that didn't work. Lost to McQueen. That didn't work. She had an ankle injury. She said she was going to retire. She came back out. She had a broken leg injury. But she wanted she to retire. But they supported her. Everybody supported her. Even her fan. Even Twin Turbo. They all supported Tokai. And Tokai's still racing. Now, those, those injuries were not like major, major serious injuries. They weren't serious. But then... Oh! But then... McQueen's injury was more serious than Tokai's. You see, to sum it up, to sum it up, she has this ligament in her leg that even a doctor told her to just come with me, sit for a bit. The butler, McQueen's butler told the coach, and Tokai didn't even know about it until she had to go see the butler. But, it was a ligament fracture in her, a ligament in her, in her leg. I forgot the full name of it. See, I'm just, I'm just a ligament in her leg. It's one of those things that it, that it can never come back. I mean, that kid can't, that it's one of those things that, that you could never, 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 never race again. That kind of fracture, that ligament right there. Ligament tweesh. I forgot that. I can't say the full name, goddamn. But still, 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 that. That injury is more worse than McQueen. I mean, than Tokai's. And Tokai was crying or she not like crying, crying, but like she, like the whole premise of this episode. I mean, the whole premise of this whole season was to see McQueen and Tokai race again. But then, it's somewhere we got to episode twelve, and then now it's now it's pres now the whole now it's McQueen's injury, and it's more serious than Tokai's has ever had. And then we see McQueen running. Like, she's not even running, running like she normally does. She is literally, she's literally trying to out this pain. Even her grandmother and the doc, even her grandmother was like, she's she's proud that she gone this far, but you got to retire. You have this frag ligament fragment in your leg. And it's one of those things where you're just like, you're done. Like a broken leg, okay. An ankle, okay. But this serious injury, you gotta stop. Yeah, it's just like it's like an ankle and a leg injury for a horse girl in Uma Sune world is like you come back. But with this kind of serious injury that McQueen has, that's a retirement. You see my point. That's that that's my point. So so when her grandmother told her to stop, and the doctor and the butler and everybody else supported her, the McQueen just ignore that and trying to run. I'm like I'm, I I want to cry for McQueen. I really did. I almost cried for McQueen. To have the serious injury and to make it worse is that she was trying to outgo the pain. And I'm t part of me is telling me, part of me was telling me, McQueen, do it. Come on. You, just, you, you made a goal. You made a promise long ago. You made a promise for the episode, I mean, like episode six or seven to say like, you want to race with Tokai. She's one of the horse girls that got you not only her rival, but as a friend and wanted you to race. And But on the other hand, on my other side, it's like, 
don't make the pressure even worse. It's bad enough that you got this really retirement leg on you. But if you make it worse and worse for it, you're, never, you're not going to race again. That's my point. You see, Ume Sune is not just about the comedy. It is the drama, the passion, the emotions that it has. It has more emotion, more impact, more than, more than understanding the character's frustrations and feelings than Haikyuu. McQueen's is just, she let it all out. Like she was mad that, she was mad that she didn't want Tokai to get hurt. She was mad that she was, but at that moment when she got her knee, she said, I can't run anymore and start crying. Dude, that hit me. That, that, that scene hit me. Like, like I was literally on my bed, just like whimpering, like, just like, I was like, oh, and it hit me. That moment hit me when she said she can't run anymore. That hit me. And she started crying. But Tokai, you know, Tao, she understands what she's going through. Because she told, it's like with Tokai, she's like, you're the one who always told me to never give up despite an injury like this. So to make it simple, short and simple, rather it's a major or minor injury, you will come back. And don't let this injury be the fallout of your retirement. That's what Tokai meant throughout the whole dialogue. But that's, that, that's what I'm putting in her words. But you see my point in that one. And then she said, okay, watch me race. I may not be in good condition, but I will win that race. So, as a result, Tokai is in confident mode. She's in, not in beast mode, but in that confident stage where she's like, I'm going to win for McQueen. And right now, if I, the way how I see the race goes, since next week's the last episode and McQueen is out right now, but we will see her race again, I hope. But in this race, and this is my prediction, I'm not saying by this, but I think Tokai will win the next race. She, it's like, see, here's the thing about, here's the thing about this sports anime. You want to, you want to cheer for this person or not. You want to say you want this person to win, but in your mind is. But right now, as the state where this is in right now, I want Tokai to win. Now, Benoit is the biggest threat. Rice Shower is also the biggest threat, which I prob will probably see her race with, with them, which, you know, I'm pretty sure that's going to happen. And even winning ticket, probably. I, um, I just waiting for next week, you know what I mean? Like, Next week is the last episode of Ume Sune. I'm looking forward for this race so bad that I'm... I, it's like, can we get it right now? Can we get this race right now? Now I feel like I want to play the app game right now. I want to play Ume Sune app game and just, just Troy McQueen right now. But, you know, I just want to do that. <sighs> but that's all. Like I said, this episode hit me to an all-time low. It hit me. Seeing McQueen crying, like I we seen Tokai cry, but McQueen and in, in this harsh reality of her uh, her quitting, like she has to retire, that hit me, and I I just don't know what to say, but I, like I said this before and I'll say it again, of all the sports animes I've watched, this show Umisune has got to be one of the few shows out there. That's not only needed to talk about more, but to me, it is still better than Haikyuu to this day. And I don't care how many seasons Haikyuu has. I know it's four seasons. I don't give a shit. But this, if you watch this season and then watch that episode, you understand. You get the feeling, the understanding, the passion, the drama, the, the understanding of that character. Then, then one day you'll understand that is, that's what it is. Or something like or so or so whatever. But still. You see my point. So, again, episode 12 hit me. Um, we're going to see Tokai race. 
in this last episode. So she will do whatever she can to win for McQueen. And let's let's see how that goes. Like I said, I'm just taking guesses of who's going to be in the race. I'm still rooting for Rice Shower because I want everybody to cheer for Rice Shower. And uh, so, okay, so those are the two people I'm kind of like hopeful if, if they were in the race. But let's see. So thank you for watching this episode of review of episode 12. A great, this was a great sad drama episode of them, but this was it. That's my thought on episode 12. Really good. So thank you for watching episode 12 of Umesune. Next week is the last, 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 last episode. And I can't wait to see it. And I'm going to go in on that episode. But let's see how that, let's see how the last episode is. So thank you for watching. See you next week.